So uh, it is like how we first need to configure the management port, need to license and then provision and then install device certificate. I will cover the labs today so that you can see. Uh, but I, before covering the lab, I just want to give you a basic of uh, all the related components that need to be uh, configured, right? So before going to the configuration part, I just want to go through the, all the concepts and terminology behind uh, F5 configuration, okay? Okay. So it is like config how you can configure the management to connect the console cable or by putting a laptop towards the management IP and then give the IP towards the management IP, right? Right. It is like how you can like I will show you this procedure also. It, it needs a base registration key, then that base registration key create one file that is called dozier. Okay. And that dozier we need to send to the F5 to the license. F5 approve that dozier and provide license key, and that license need to be installed on our F5 bigger base licenses. Okay. 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 So normally, when how, the, how much time does it take to do the whole process? Is it uh, is it as quick as you go to website, do it, and they will send you right away? Or does it take some time? Yes. No, it is automatically within one or two minutes. Oh, okay, perfect. It, it will show you. It will show you the uh, when you go to the website and uh, put your dozier. It will simply say, "Okay, this is your license." Okay. Okay. Uh, there are two methods to uh, take a license. One is automatic, and another is manual. When you say automatically, then you need an F5 to have direct access to the internet, so that it directly access the F5 license server. If you, if you do not have any uh, internet connectivity to the, your F5 virtual servers, or you can say that do not does not have any direct connectivity uh, to the F5 client, then you can choose the manual method. In the manual method, you just copy the dossier to the licensing server. Otherwise, if you use the automatically, the dossier is automatically uh, taken by the F5 to the license server. You do not need to uh, uh, copy the dossier to the licensing servers. Okay? If you need it, uh, this is a manual process. For the manual process, you just put registration key, then put uh, it create a dossier, then you need to copy that dossier and put it to the F5 licensing servers, right? And then it activate, and then we need to manually push the license to us on our big, big IP device. Okay? Okay. It says like this one. It shows the steps. Send to dossier to the F5 servers. It apply. Uh, it applies the license, oh, sorry, activate the license, and then you need to apply that license. Okay. Yeah. After applying the license, you need to uh, tell that uh, if your bigger IP appliance is only used for the LTM or different modules, right? When you are assigning uh, different modules, you can assign like how much resources you want to provision for that particular module, right? I have already covered that. It is like nominal, dedicated, or minimum. If you say dedicated, it means that particular appliance is only used for the LTM, right? It it does not use for the GTM. Then, if you use nominal, it means uh, it 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 use the recommended uh, resources for the LTM within an appliance. Suppose if appliance has it having a, like 16 GB of RAM, mm -hmm. it means it says like recommended. It automatically select uh, like 4 GB of RAM. But when you say LTM dedicatedly, it means it, it use all the resources of that particular appliance. Okay. So that's a part of doing installation, right? Yes, first time installation, yes. Can you change it to later on or it's done? Yes, you, yes, no, no, you can change it later on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, by uh, the way, oh. these two, you mentioned about application acceleration manager, access policy manager, mm -hmm. uh, application <laughs> security, application visibility and report. They, are they, do you have to buy separate licenses for those? Yes. For each and every module, you need a separate license. If the license is there, then only you can provision that resource or module. Okay. Okay. It's like minimum dedicated. Okay. Mm. This is like provisioning means providing the CPU disk and the memory. Okay. If you see this one. Uh, TMM is assigned. Uh, TMM means TMM management interface having some CPU usage. If APM is also assigned some resources, LTM is also assigned uh, assign some resources, right? But in our virtual edition, 
uh, the virtual addition is only for the LTM part, so sometimes you will not see an allocated part, right? Unallocated does not mean because in a virtual addition it is only for the LTM, right? It is not specified for the GTM. But yes, if you have license for the GTM, then we need to assign some more resources. Okay. <clears throat> so this is, I think this is our uh, covered. I think I have covered these things. Uh, how to configure the management IP, right? Right. We are monitors. I think this is the CLI structure. How uh, you can go and configure. I will show you in the lab uh, uh, how we can go with the different steps. Okay. First we need to. Okay. Uh, remember pool pool member and the node difference. Uh, Hello. Yes. Yes. Okay. Because uh, when you say pool or node, it is like single IP. When you say pool member, it relates to the service, right? And when you say pool, pool is like a group of pool members with the same same service, right? Right. And the virtual server is a you can say that the, all the client when hits to the uh, any website IP address, it means the destination IP that is for any client is like the virtual server IP, right? Right. Okay. Okay. Now we are, I think, on monitors, right? Yes. <clears throat> when you say monitor, what, uh, till now when when we say like any client sending a traffic to our virtual IP or you can say the virtual servers, virtual servers, we need uh, we need some servers behind the virtual server, right? And behind the virtual server means we have like same site is being hosted on the multiple servers so that. G site or you can say that the server traffic is load balanced, right? And for that we need an F5. Okay. So when you say uh, suppose like my traffic is coming from hit this direction and it hits the F5 as a destination IP, F5 make a layer balancing decision here and choose one of the server, right? This one, this one, and this one. And based on the load balancing algorithm, send the traffic to other server one, either to server two, either to either either to the server three. But before sending F5, uh, sending a traffic to F5, F5 must know that what is the health of my servers. Okay, so. If I need to know uh, which uh, different uh, uh, servers are being uh, available and which are offline, right? So there should be a mechanism between the F5 and the server so that F5 should see whether my, whether these, uh, the, the internal servers are live or offline, right? Right. right. So there is, this mechanism is called a monitor which checks the health status availability of our internal servers. It does not check the health of the client. It checks the so health of our internal server. So uh, based on the level interval level, it's trying to ping, either ping, right, see the service, right? The different things that uh, you can set in the monitor, okay? Like you can use your scripted monitor, scripted scripting uh, to be associated with the monitor so that if you have like uh, your own application and you want that the status, if this particular response comes from the application, it means that particular server is working fine. And based on that response, F5 will assume that, okay, if I'm getting this response, it means the server is healthy so that I can send the traffic to the uh, server. Got it? Yeah. So uh, this is, uh, it says like open connection to the pool member, uh, how it tests how it test the health of the server. It's, if it makes one connection, like if it is like taking an HTTP request, it send a guest request. If, if, if it sees the receive strings, any strings, it means it is getting some response from the HTTP application, right? So if the response, if it is getting the string on the response, it means F5 sees that, okay, server is listening on the AT ports and also giving some information, right? That, is, it, that means the particular service is working properly, right? So it is like making a connection to the servers and the base and then examining that response. If the response is good, then it, uh, it accepts the, the, the server uh, to redirect the traffic of the clients towards the servers. Okay. Right. 
So if it, if it finds any invalid response, it mark it offline. When it says offline, it means the client's traffic will not send to that particular server. Okay. So always remember pool member is a service, right? It is not known. Like in this particular in these three servers, we have different multiple services. Like it could be port 80, 80 it could be port 443, it could be 2022, 20, right? The same server can host 80, right? Can host 22 service and can host 443, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that uh, like when you say you can status check the data. This is like it shows one difference. Uh, here we have defined one virtual server. Okay. Within one virtual server, we have defined pool, and the pool is uh, is called like group of uh, pool member with the same service. If you see the service, all the pool member have the same service. Got it? Yeah. And these are the my nodes. So if any one of the servers goes down. Still, my pool server will say available because I have two servers that is left behind that is available, right? So still, the virtual server will uh, accept the client traffic and redirect to these two servers. It will not redirect to this server if this uh, node or its health monitor status response is offline, right? So, Got it? so uh, as you mentioned here, the name uh, vs underscore HTTP. Uh, mm -hmm. does it more, doesn't it make more sense to put uh, your virtual server IP, so VS underscore 172.16.20.100, something like this? Uh, it is not necessary because uh, I have chosen the network uh, map here. It is like giving a statistic information okay, for all my servers. So, uh, if you click on the virtual server, it will simply say, okay, this is the virtual server name and this is your IP. Okay. Okay, so it is like network map is to just give you a logical information like which virtual server is bind to which virtual pool and in virtual pool how many members are there. Okay. Uh, okay, when you say uh, how uh, it depends each other and what is the status of different pools members uh, with uh, their servers. So if, uh, when you are monitoring anything, you can monitor based on the node. You can monitor based on the pool members. When it says node, it means single IP. You can monitor single IP. When it says based on the pool member, it means it also monitors the service, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the difference. When you when you are monitoring node, it means it simply check for the IP. When it says it monitor the service or the monitor the pool member, it means it check for the service also. So whatever the service you are using. Suppose in this example, if you see there are three virtual servers defined with three different virtual pool members and each pool member having a different service, right? Okay, so if you are using, uh, if you are using a, our a monitor only for the nodes, it means we are just checking the response for this particular IP, not checking the service or you can say the port, right? We are not checking this. But when you are monitoring, setting the monitor on the pool level, it means we are defining because we are checking based on the service. If service is good, it means the virtual server traffic, uh, or you can say that the F5 will send the traffic towards the server. Okay. When you are not assigning any monitor, by default, it is called unknown. Unknown, unknown means it doesn't mean that F5 will not send the traffic to these server. It says simply that we have not set any monitors uh, for this uh, virtual server, or you can say that you have not defined any monitor for the node or member. Right, so it is not the best practice to do not assign any. Uh, you can say that do not assign any monitors because F5 is purposely use monitors to check the status and the health of our servers. If you are not assigning monitors, then F5 will simply send you the traffic without knowing the health of the status, health of the server. Right, so it, it sometimes the client says, okay, I am able to access the site. Sometimes it says, okay, I am not able to access because maybe the third server is down. But FI is still sending the traffic to the third server because there is no mechanism uh, it, uh, we have placed the, uh, where FI can monitor the servers or the service, right? Yes. Okay. So when you say uh, blue, when you see the blue screen, it means we have not set uh, your any monitors. When you have set your monitors and uh, FI see the exact uh, response, it means it is available. When you say available, it means FI will send the traffic to the, that particular pool member. When it says yellow triangle, it says like it is unable, 
but unavailable. What it, it means is, suppose you have three three servers, and in three servers you mentioned connection limit like 400. So if any client traffic coming from this uh, client traffic coming to the F5, F5 will send the request to our servers, and we have uh, in one server we have mentioned like it can process only maximum 100 connections at a time. Okay, so we have limited our connections. If suppose F5 sending one zero one request to the server three, that that particular server the F5 will not send uh, to the third third server because their connection has been uh, reached, right? So, but again, clients request should not be uh, uh, rejected. In that case, the uh, the F5 will redirect that uh, client request to an, uh, another available server. It could be server one or it could be server two, but it cannot send to the server three. But when the connection limit has been reached, F5 mark this server as yellow. It means the connection limit has been reached. So until unless the connection limit is below that connection limit, they will not send the traffic to this particular server. Okay. Okay. When it says red diamond, it means uh, F5 does not uh, see the response from the server for any service that is it needed. So it marks that server as a off line and will not send any traffic to towards this server. Okay. When it says black circle and the black diamond, it is like defined by the orientation manually uh, manually change the status of uh, the server by the admin. Okay. I will show you the difference between the black circle and the black diamond in a few uh, slides or when I show you the practical for this one. Okay. Okay. So this is like example. What the what what particular symbols uh, tells about the status or the health status of your servers? Okay.